Hello my fellow gnomes, quick video today and we're just going over how to animate an NPCs. Now inside of both of these I have a little move script, we can click open it up, not really important but we can see we're just moving them around the map and if I then click play we can see they're moving all around the place but they're not animated like my actual player character is here. So if we want to animate them, well, one thing we could do is we could just copy our gnomes animations. So if I go into workspace and I can find gnome code, that's my player, and I can see I've got this animate script. And these are all the animations that my character is using when I move around or if I do a, a dance, right? I do one of these emotes. It's using this animation set. So I could just copy this entire script. I'll right click, select copy, and then I'm going to hit stop and I can paste that animation script into the workspace. We can have a look at it. This is all the logic that controls the animations at the moment, all 800 lines of it. Uh, now, this is actually the same script that we get. If we go to the avatar tab and you create an NPC with the rig builder option, and if you add in an avatar you, like so, and we look inside this rig, we'll notice it actually already comes with this local script uh, called animate. And that's actually how I added in these two NPCs here, because both of these also contain an animate script. But it is a local script, which means it can't run inside of the workspace. It can only run inside of certain containers, such as a player character. And these are just NPCs. So how do we get it to work? Well, one thing we can do is we can add in a script. And let's name the script animate. And if we go into the local script and we select all of those objects and drag them into our new server script, and then we go into the local script, control A, select everything, control X to cut it, add it to our clipboard, go back into that new server script we just created, delete that and paste in the contents. So we've just moved all the contents from our blue local script into our white server script. Once we've done that, we can go ahead and delete the local script. And if I then hit uh, run, we should see this guy is now animated. He's playing the idle one and he's playing the, the run as he moves. This guy we didn't bother to set up. Um, now this is okay. We're now running the animations on the server, um, but this is not ideal. For one thing, we've actually got an error down the output because this script refers to the local player, so it's meant for a local script. There is no such thing as a local player on the server. And the other problem is that if we did have lots and lots of these, then it's going to cause performance issues for our game. Because really we want sort of local effects and UI changes and animations to all be happening on the client rather than waste server memory. So what we can actually do is we can select this script and we'll notice that server scripts have this property under behavior called run context. At the moment, it's set to legacy, but there's a new feature of Studio where we can choose whether we want it to be a client or a server. And if we change the run context to client, it operates like a local script. We can see it's now turned blue, um, but it's a special kind of local script that can be ran inside the workspace. So if I hit run again, it's going to look like Neither of these are animated now because the animations are not happening on the server. But if I hit play, we will see he is animated again. So we could copy this for both NPCs um, if we wanted this guy to be using the exact same animation set, and that'd be fine. Um, but sometimes you want to do something a bit custom, right? So if we're wanting to edit this animate script, right, it's 800 lines worth. It's quite a lot of bulk and a lot of this stuff for NPCs you probably don't care about, right? We've got stuff to do with holding tools and swimming and jumping and various states and then different emotes for the chatting. An NPC can't do chatting emotes. So a lot of this stuff might be surplus to requirements. So we can just create a really simple script as well. So I'm going to go into my second rig and I'm going to create a new script and we could just call this like custom animation. Now, in order to play any animation, we need to access the animator, which is a property of the rig's humanoid. So we'll just grab them in our script. And then we need to grab some animations. You could add anything in, but I'm actually going to take some 
bomb, the default one. And just to be a bit different, why don't we take the swim one? So we can take swim and swim idle. Move those into our custom animation script and delete this old local animate script. We need to load both of these into our animator so they're ready to use. So we call the load animation function and then we pass in script, wait for child, swim. And then we're going to do the same thing for swim idle. Now, once these tracks are loaded at any time, we can tell them to play. So if I just went ahead and run this, we should now see he is swimming as he moves about. Pretty funky, but it's not a sync to his movement or anything. If we want to tie it into the movement, we can use an event from the humanoid. So there's a humanoid.running event, connect that into a function, and that gives us the speed that he's moving at whenever he's moving. So if the speed, let's say, is greater than 0.5 studs a second, then we're going to want him to be doing a movement uh, animation, in this case, the swim. So we play that, and then we're going to want to stop the idle, so stop. And if they're not going faster than 0.5, they're basically stationary, so we're going to want to play the idle and stop the swim. So just the inverse of this, calling stop and play like so. So now if we run it, we see swimming as he moved, and then he stops and he goes to the swim idle, like so. Now again, I'm still using it on the server, so I probably want to select the script and change the run context to client. And so now if I hit run, neither of them will be animated. But if I hit play, we're going to see two... <laughs> there we go, he got a little stuck there. But we see two animated NPCs. Uh, one that's using the exact same script as my character, and then another rather funky one doing some swimming. So hopefully that helps you guys in animating your NPCs. If you found this video helpful, then leave a like. Uh, tell me in the comments what you're going to use this for, and be sure to subscribe for more helpful tips like this. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!